much of Cavalier AthleteX.com. Man, did I ruffle some feathers this weekend or what? The Zach Efron workout and diet video. I mean, good lord, if you haven't seen it, it's right here. And you owe it to yourself to give it a watch. And more importantly, scroll through the comments when you do, because it will put into context better what I want to talk to you about here today. And I want to talk about, man, the level of hatred thrown Zach Efron's way. <laughs> this poor kid, I don't even know him, but I felt bad for him because a lot of people, not everybody, certainly not everybody, a lot of people want to attribute everything he got. They want to attribute his physique. They want to attribute his gains in preparation for his movie. They want to attribute everything to steroids. They don't know him. They never train with him. They don't hang out with him, but they want to guarantee that that's what he is. Why? Because he looks better than they do. Guys, I see this all too often and it pisses me off. And I'm going to rant today. And I hope if you need to put the earmuffs on the kids around you, you're going to have to do that. But the fact of the matter is, why are we always so quick to say that about everybody that does look better than us? Let's keep in mind, he's 165 to 170 pounds. Do you think that's, that, that is an unobtainable physique? If you do, you're watching the wrong channel. Should I sit up here all the time and preach to you about how possible it is if you train like an athlete to look like an athlete, being ripped and also to carry lean muscle and to maximize the amount that you can naturally carry? It's unbelievable. You should see the, the comments about it. This is crazy. This is bullshit. You can never do this without doing Zach's steroid regimen. You can never do this without the, the rock feeding you steroids. You can never do this without a personal chef, without all day to train, with nothing to do but train, without a, the highest level personal trainer. Guys, first of all, as far as a personal trainer goes, you got a pretty damn good one here giving you guys free videos each and every week. I hope you've learned something from my videos that would allow you to make gains and see progress and results. But I can tell you, I don't condone steroid use, not in the least bit. I am the biggest anti-steroid guy standing here on YouTube. I was a guy that grew up in a household where my father would have killed me if I did anything, any drug. He told me, Jeff, if you ever do anything and I catch you, get out of the house, get out. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna make it easy. I'm gonna pack all your shit, I'm gonna put it out on the lawn, you can come and take it, but don't ever show back up here again. Now coming from a divorced hell household, I had nowhere else to go. I was scared to death. So not only did I not do anything, I never drank, I never did a drug, I never tried a drug, I never, I never drank anything, even through college, nothing. I was as clean and boring as it possibly gets. I say it all the time, I live a, a pretty boring life, but I'm proud of it. And I'm proud to be able to stand here and as, as an example to you to inspire you of what is capable and possible if you train hard. But we don't know about Zach. And if you think that all that this unobtainable 165 to 170 pound physique all came from the fact that he put on 10 pounds in a year, and that's, and that's something that doesn't happen, guys, it's less than a pound a month. And if you, you understand the fact that he used heavy training for the first time ever in his training program. If you're out there and you are a 26 year old kid who's never trained heavy before, I can guarantee you, you got lots of gains waiting for you. Lots of them. And I don't even think, I don't even care if you're 40 or 60. If you've never trained heavy in your life and you start training heavy, those strength gains will lead to size gains. And you're going to see some noticeable size, especially, like I said, if you've never done it before. I don't think Zach Efron was ever training really seriously before. I mean, if you look at his physique, I'm not trying to knock him, but he was lean, but he didn't look like he, had, like he ever really trained heavy, like he was ever really taking it seriously. But you start training seriously, you start training with the rock. And let me tell you something. Even at 40 years old, can I make a 10 pound gain in one year? Probably not, not having trained all this time and, and kind of reached my potential at this point. Probably not, but I'll tell you, you give me the rock as my training partner? Fuck, I'm getting some shit done because I would love to train with the rock. Having the motivation that that guy provides me every single workout would guarantee me some gains, I can tell you that. Even when I thought there was no gains to squeeze out of my physique, I could guarantee some gains. So why, what, what's the point of this whole video? Why are we here revisiting this? Because it's the mentality that I want to drive home here. Don't use that accusation as an excuse for you to excuse yourself from hard work. That's what it's all about. I can't obtain what he is. I'm going to say he's getting it all from steroids and I can't attain those gains because I'm not willing to go down that same road. Therefore, I'm not doing shit. That is the most horrible mentality that you can possibly have. The most horrible loser mentality that you could possibly have. 
If you're willing to put in the hard work, success and gains await you, I promise you. But how hard are you willing to work? Not hard. I bet you the guys that say all that stuff, they don't really like working out anyway. They were looking for the easiest way out so that they didn't have to work out. And that, my friends, that's not what we're here for. Not what this channel is about. I cater to the guys that want to train and train hard and, and squeeze every ounce out of what they have. Because there's a lot in you if you start learning how to train the right way. And I can tell you, the excuses continue to roll on. I don't have, like I said, I don't have that chef. I don't have a, a personal trainer like that. I don't have a, uh, all day to train. Guys, come on, where are we going with this? I mean, all it takes is about 30 minutes of hard training a day. I've done workouts here that would knock the average man on his ass in 10 minutes. You don't have 10 minutes? I bet you if you looked at your favorite TV shows and, and figured out a way that you could find 10 minutes, you would. I bet you if you figured out maybe one less uh, uh, hit up on Facebook all day or you know, hitting Facebook throughout the whole day, you'd probably find an accumulated 30 minutes that you can go train. That's all it's going to take if you're willing to train hard. But a lot of guys aren't willing to do that. I, personally, I stand here telling you that I'm, I've been running a full-time job. I had two premature twins back on January 6th, one of which is still in the hospital. I've been to the hospital almost every single day since January 6th to spend quality time with my son. And I still have a family. And I still have my job to run. And I still have all my videos that I want to make for you guys. And guess how many of those I've missed? I think one. I think one. And guess how many workouts I've missed in that time? Maybe one. And guess whose fault it was when I missed that workout? 100% my ass's fault. Because I just didn't make the time that day. I had no excuses. I could have made the time. If it means something to you, you'll make the time for it. But you want, when you want to start laying all the excuses down for you so it makes it nice and easy for you to discredit everybody else, that's bullshit. And just because they look better than you? Like I said, his, his physique is obtainable, guys. It's totally obtainable. If you think that you, you're at 165 pounds is not in the cards for you at 5 or 6 or 7% body fat, it's not in the cards for you, that's just because you're lazy and you don't want to work. I'm happy to help you work. And I'm happy to lay down everything you guys need to do to do that. And I've been doing it over here for now six years. And I try to stand in front of you as your sort of beacon of hope, right? I'm going to be your motivation because that's what I feel like it's my responsibility to do, to lead by example. And if I haven't led you by example enough for you to understand that that's obtainable, then I don't know what I've been teaching. But the fact of the matter is stop using excuses. Stop using them. You got them all. I don't have a personal chef. I know a lot of baseball players that have a lot more money than I do. They don't have personal chefs. They just care about it. They care about the end goal more than you might. And you got to start caring if you want to see results from it. All right, guys, I'm done. I'm done ranting. I don't even know Zac Efron. Poor kid. It's like I'm sitting here defending Zac Efron. I don't even know the kid. I don't. And I, and I don't even care about him, to be honest with you. Not, no offense, Zach, but I don't really care about him. It's just this blanket excuse that a lot of guys use, this blanket accusation that everybody wants to run to as fast as they can because it gives them the out that they're looking for. Stop looking for outs. Start putting some of that energy into lifting the fucking weights, and I'll tell you, you'll see a lot more uh, results from doing that, okay? A lot more from your hard uh, effort you're going you're gonna to get from being that. You'll be way more productive. Guys, if you're looking for a channel that doesn't bullshit you, that puts it out there the way it is and tells it like it is, I hope you found this channel to be that channel. Amongst a sea of YouTube channels that maybe don't do that for you, uh, I'm happy to do it every single time I'm, I'm, I'm here. There's, there's no agenda on this channel. I'm just trying to be as real as I can, preach what I, what I preach, and live by example. And I hope you guys are inspired by that. You can subscribe to our channel for that, of course, anytime you want. In the meantime, I'll be back here, guys, in just a couple days. Make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. And also, let me know what you want to see on this channel. I'm happy to do any of all that for you guys. I want to cover what you want to see. All right, by the way, tonight's video was supposed to be a knee video on meniscal tears, ACL, and MCL damage. Uh, I, I think I got a little bit off track, but this was certainly necessary. I felt like it had to be addressed given the uproar that we caused over the weekend. So I hope you'll pardon me for that. I will get back to that video very soon. All right, guys, I'll see you back here soon.